Hi chaps, some OP here from Beard, Biceps and Bat Chat. Today I am bringing you some gameplay in my Centurion Action X on Westfield. As you can see, it's a tier 10 game, but there's a couple of tier 8. I do feel bad for those chaps in this game. A little bad. It's a, it's a tough match uh, for them, um, which probably is half the reason I'm showing you this game. Because it's, it's quite a fun game. So, as you're probably aware, I've unlocked the Centurion Action X. Um, I was a little bit unsure of getting this tank. It wasn't sort of the mediums I usually go for, which are the Russian mediums and the OBJ-140, the T-62A. It's more of a support medium ridgeline fighter. But I was quite keen to get a British Tier 10, and this is the one, aside from the Chieftain, that really appealed to me. And the Chieftain line didn't particularly appeal to me I don't like playing slow heavy tanks um, so this was a much more enjoyable grind to get to the uh, action X so we're going to head to the hill that is on C4 this is a the usual sort of engagement point a hot spot on the map um, this is a really good position to move your action X into now the reason for that is that this tank is a ridgeline tank it's got Fairly decent uh, turret armor. It's got uh, 10 degrees of gun depression. So it, it's really, really good in this uh, position. You can really take advantage of the characteristics of the tank. And now also this tank also has a uh, 410 meters view range before you add in cruise scales, binos, optics, and any other uh, fun things that you want to add in. So if I push the top for everyone else, I should get the spots in. And it should just help with a little bit more experience for the game as well. Now the team's deployed quite nicely. We've got a TD that's covering the hill from C7. We've got a couple of heavies and a TD that have gone the down the 9-0 line. And we've got some mediums and heavies that have come to the hill. So we've covered all the sort of main engagement points on this map. There's no lemon trains. It's going well. So far. <laughs> so far. I'm sure there's plenty that will go wrong. But everyone is doing pretty well at the moment. So... I'm just sort of dueling with this M46, that could be an M48 pattern. Again, I'm really trying to conserve our hitch points as much as possible just to take him out. We don't get the kill, but we do one damage, we've got four spots so far. Again, the team's still in quite a good position. We can see we have far more reds to deal with than we have greens in the immediate area. So we're already going to be up against it. I put a shot straight into the OBJ-140. The reason for that is he is the most dangerous tank at that point. I need to start whittling him down just so he doesn't bully, use his speed, his turret armor, hull armor, just to take us down. With them having so many tanks over here, it's important for myself, the rest of the team, to conserve our hit points as much as possible while doing as much, as much damage as possible. So I need to be aware that I need to keep my gun in the fight firing as much as possible again just to whittle them down at this point if i'm being honest i wasn't overly sure we'd actually win the fight at this ridge line um but that that didn't really matter what all we actually needed to do was to hold them here long enough so i'll push down the nine zero line as you can see our greens outnumber the three reds there um just to push through and flank round to either cap which i know some of you guys aren't a fan of or to come round in a sort of anvil position. Worst case scenario, if we really start losing this ridge line, we can pull back to where the TD is at C7. Lovely ridge line there. Keep our hull protected, just show our turret armour. Again, just hold them up a bit. Well, a bit longer as well. <laughs> back to the ridge line and where we actually are. So my immediate threat is the we've got the object 140. I'm, I'm either missing or bouncing off his turret. Unless I load premium, I'm sort of unlikely to go through it. So we have a weakened T10 in front of us. The reason I want to take him out on that, I'm sort of tunnel visioning him a little bit. He's quite low health. Um, it's not really to get the kill. What I actually want to do more than anything else is just to get one of their guns out of the game. We switch to Hesh. The reason being, that's going to do damage. Even if it's 110 damage, it's going to do damage rather than just bounce off. Because they're in quite a good position. If we throw that into his lower plate, we really could have risked APCR there. Um, but again, Hesh just allows me to do damage where normally you can't do damage to a tank. And it's normally got quite a good roll on it. So we take the T10 out. We've taken one gun out. We've got a OBJ-140 pushing quite aggressively between the gap between the two hills. The Conqueror's low health. 
we're in quite a good position. On this ridge line, we're fairly safe playing around the hills. We've pushed them off the hill to the point they're now scattering. Now they're doing the right thing. They're pushing back and getting behind cover just to go hold down and just to slow our push as much as possible. The problem they have is they're sort of separated. So we set the OBJ140 on fire, tap his engine, just let him burn out, hopefully for the second kill. Yep, that's the second kill. Again, they've got a medium TD on the right, nice and hold down. They've got a T30 in a very, very interesting position. I assume he's got stuck, um, but because of our push, his position ended up quite nice. We're at half HP. So I'm just going to be using this ridge line again. I'm just going to wait for the spot to drop off. Hopefully drop off. <laughs> it's not going, so something is definitely spotting me. So I'm going to have a, try and have a little bit of fun with the uh, Centurion one. I've got the wreck in front of me. I've got the ridge. I'm fairly safe in this position, even though I'm spotted. We know roughly where most the enemy team is, so nothing should, <laughs> I say should, pop me unexpectedly. I decide to get a little bit courageous, push on the Conqueror, take his gun out of the game. We take him out for the third kill. 14 penetrate, well, 15 penetrate and hit with a fire. So that doesn't particularly count. And we start aiming in on the T30. He's hold down to tanks that are directly in front of him, but from the angle I'm at and the fact that I'm elevated to him, I'm always going to get shot onto his sloped front. I'm not really going to struggle to go through, even just just with APCR so it, it's just a case of when he dies rather than if he dies at this point medium to our right gone to engage the Centurion 7-1 we've got a really good advantage on them at the minute the push down the 9-0 line didn't quite go as planned they held out even with just three tank three red tanks on that side so it's actually came down to us just to sort of clean up and mop up the game a little bit the T30 is dropped off We've got someone indicated on the map, get here, we've got boys here, come and help us out. We need a little help in hand, we've got a Type 4 Heavy that's just cropped up. I just risk going for a quick snapshot, we take his ammo rack out which is quite lucky. What you saw me do with the auto aim there is I knew it was a red reticle so I knew I'd take him out but I just let it aim in before I took the shot so it wasn't too much of a risk. So we got a fourth kill on the Tortoise. And at this point, I've got a rough idea with the where the other reds are. With my superior view range, I should, <laughs> in theory, spot them before anyone else. But again, I'm being quite cautious, so we uh, get very lucky with the snapshot on the Waffentrager there. The Leopard 1 is making a run for it. I decide to be very ballsy, just give him the lead, get him gone for the 6 kill. That is a top gun, 20 penetrating hits. We've got 13 critical damage, well, 13 module ribbons. So a really, really good game in the Centurion Action Axe. I've really, really been enjoying this medium. Um, it's it, 140 used to be my go-to medium at tier 10. This has very quickly surpassed it. Again, we've got Reaper, we've got a Top Gun, we've got the First Class. Just a really, really good, interesting tank to play. I'm really enjoying it. I'll be really interested to see uh, what your guys' thoughts are, how you're playing your mediums. Like and comment below and I'll catch you later.